What is up everyone? So Dr. K here. And in case you're wondering, it if if it looks like I'm looking off to the right when I start the video, it's cause I am, because my OBS window is on my right monitor and my left monitor is where the webcam is. So yeah. I just I'm just looking over there to make sure it's starting. <laughs> cause that would be awkward if I like expected it that it was recording and it wasn't. With plays.tv it actually put the thing in the top left of the screen but of course it didn't record it because it was like hey that's that's me it does we don't need to record that so but yeah and that's what's going on there i'm not sure if there's a more elegant way of doing that but yeah that's that and now we're going on to defense of kashik in fact let's actually adjust the, the camera there webcam yeah i think that's a little better now you will notice you know, we got the the microphone up there. That's my Samson CO2 on his little boom arm. It's pretty slick because, you know, it it's, you can probably guess from, like, the framing of the webcam and what it's showing that, you know, right here, this microphone does not obstruct my view of the display at all. Like, I have quite a bit of visibility above the webcam even. So, yeah, it's perfect. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, get on with it. Get on with it. Yeah, Yoda. Yeah, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get out of here. We don't serve your kind. Well, actually, we do. Anyway, let's let's take check this out. Now, this this chapter is a bit, bit wonky because, you know, you, you can either be Yoda or you can be Chewie. Let's be real. Everyone wants to be Yoda because Yoda is awesome. But as a character in LEGO Star Wars, he can be a bit... Uh, quirky because you'll notice he's really slow pretty sure I've mentioned this in a previous episode but yeah he's not he doesn't walk very fast but when he has his lightsaber out he walks a lot faster because he's like oh yeah battle time I'm battle ready yeah let's do this uh -huh. okay you know what let's switch to Chewbacca for this end I just... really really Really? I'm pretty sure I hit those dead on, but it, they didn't blow up. Do you have to be like within a certain range to be able to hit, blow those up? That's kind of weird. Uh, what was that? Just... Okay. Ugh. Excuse me. <laughs> Do you say excuse me when you sneeze? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, but I did. So yeah. I want. Okay. So this these clones are gonna go hostile in a moment. Can I attack them now? Um, or are they just like complete NICs, non-interactable characters? I think they they are. They are invincible. Okay, interesting. Um, so there's that. Uh huh. And we got the red brick hiding in there be behind the dark force and the bounty hunter thing. Or or is that shiny thing part of the dark force thing? I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's think about that while we drink some water. Ah, okay, now something exciting is about to happen. Okay, you ready for this? Major spoiler if you haven't seen episode three, because you know. <laughs> well, maybe I don't know. I'm not sure how much of a spoiler it would actually be, but yeah, um, it was it was a pretty big. Reveal for the Jedi. That's for sure. <laughs> they did not see it coming at all. Oh my gosh But of course clones no match for freaking Yoda The freaking Grand Master like seriously. That's that's legit his title <laughs> Grand Master Yoda But yeah, that see the trick about Yoda, okay, is You want to keep his lightsaber out so that you don't move like a, a tank because he isn't a tank. If he moved like a tank and was a tank, that would that'd be fine, right? But, you know, he's not a tank, so we, we don't want him to move it like a tank. Um, but, you know, when you're, like, forcing these things, if you happen to not be close enough or facing the right direction for it to think that you want to force something, then instead of forcing it, you excuse me, will put away your lightsaber, which means that you're back walking slowly so that's a bit of a quirk when playing Yoda overall 
you know, you, you just gotta get used to it, guys. So, yeah. And, oh my gosh, okay, seriously, if you guys play this game, but you don't have the stud magnet, get it. Like, look up on the, on the interwebs uh, which level has it, and, like, hunt for the red brick. Oh, look, we're at an 11,000 even stud amount. That was kind of clumsy. Hoo-da! No, lame. Lame. Okay, but check this out. Okay, you see how easily Yoda moves from target to target? Yeah. Hoo-da! Okay, nope, that did not work. Yeah, but see, he's, he's so showy that he can very easily move between targets. In fact, I think later on this level will be an even better demonstration of this. Okay, now let's... Yeah, okay. See, I think last time I came through here, I when I came to rescue those Wookiees, I ended up whacking them a bunch because of the faulty, quirky, um, yeah, quirky targeting system in LEGO Star Wars. So that was a bit awkward, but, you know, this time around we did not do that. We have learned our lesson, or, well, I mean, I was kind of deliberately not attacking them, but, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're any better at the game. And that is impenetrable. So let's, let's see if we can remember what we've learned. Yeah, nailed it. Now let's blow that up, get the studs, and we, we are doing pretty good right here. Okay, yeah. Man, I feel like such a pro at this game, but you know, it's such a. <laughs> I feel like it's also a pretty simple game, so. <laughs> you know, there's not too much to be a pro at, but like. You know, if you've never played the game before and you're just playing it for the first time, probably gonna experience a bit of a learning curve. Not nearly as big as, like, something like Overwatch, but, you know, still a learning curve. Pow! Pow! Yeah! <laughs> Check out my expert sniping skills, Yoda. Hmm, yeah. Good that is. Mm. Ah, I'm only half trying because I, I don't know. I I don't know why I'm only half trying. I'll I'll do a more proper Yoda voice later on in the episode. Stay tuned for that. Eh? <laughs> Hit the thumbs up button if you're excited for that. <laughs> Shameless plug. Okay, so <laughs> that reminds me. Okay, I remember coming across this YouTube video a while back, right? Okay, I have no idea what the original uploader intended it. BS, but what it was, it was, it was some gameplay of some, I, I'm pretty sure it was some AAA title or something, right? And just the whole time, he was just like talking about the game, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, gonna snipe this guy, uh, hit the like button if you've ever been sniped before, or hit the like button if you've ever made an epic snipe shot, and uh, maybe share it if you've ever, you know, been sniped. Uh, <laughs> You know, just ridiculous stuff like that. You know, those sorts of things where it's like, you know, asking you to like the video, but it's kind of over the top, kind of, you know, poking fun at it a bit, you know. And that's, you know, it's something that everyone does because, you know, you want to remind people that there there is such a thing as a like button, you know. Because I know personally, I don't like videos a ton. Like, I don't literally like them. I don't hit the like button on them a bunch. But, you know, it's, it does, never hurts to, like, uh, remind your viewers that, you know, the like button is there for, you know, showing liking of the video. Oh, yeah, dude, you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. I'll die, you evil creatures and machines. Nope. Okay, we don't, we don't want to bother with that, actually, because it's... Uh, Purely, well, okay, I mean, it, so that's to build a little uh, walker thing, like a, the predecessor to the ATST or whatever, but it really does not make a difference here, because, you know, this, the purpose of this little part right here is just to, like, be an interim place. I think it's just to show, like, oh, look at this crazy invasion going on, and, you know, you just go on and get on with your life and you, know, you don't actually need that um, walker to progress and I am being really bad with these mines but hey <laughs> net gain on the studs there 
I rest my case. <laughs> I'm not being very good on the on the mines, and you know they're easy to mess up. But like in the the last time I recorded this, it was no problem, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> invincibility with the power up. What is up? Okay, let's go ahead and force some of these while while we have the fast force. Oh, oh, look at one of those. Have we gotten the carrots? I'm not sure if we've gotten the carrots. Um, let's see. We ha we only have two mini kits on this level. Oh, come on, come on. Okay. Whew. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be another carrot. But like, okay. So you saw how like I got forced up that carrot from the ground. So that happens sometimes. It said like one out of three. That means there are three carrots that you can uh, uproot. And if you get them all, then you get something special, probably a mini kit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but cool. And the only problem is that, um, you know, there's a constant stream of enemies coming, and when you get hit, you stop using the force. Okay, let's see if one of these is the carrot. Doesn't look like that one is. Doesn't. Oh, that one is one! Okay. And I'm pretty sure the third carrot is off to the left. So that should be fine. Yeah! Five kill in one. That's pretty epic, if I do say so myself. Okay, we'll just expertly jump over their heads, you know, out of the range of their blast. Oh, we got hit. Oh, shucks. Okay. Now, let's... Okay. So he, uh, okay, I was going to show you how it's supposed to be done, but then I did it done... Did not do it the way it was supposed to be done. Okay, there is the force. Okay. That's a kind of weird forcey bit, because, like, the, the hitbox if you will, for the forcing of the thing is like way different from, oh yeah, first try, what is up, okay, yeah, mini kit, okay, okay, cool, cool, now the rest of these are just going to be the plants that we uproot to um, get the studs, except for this one, which is also going to reveal the grappling spot, so let's go ahead and grapple up as Chewbacca. Hit that, get the mini kit like a pro, and switch back to Yoda, and head over here. Okay, okay, yeah, Here, here's a spot. Okay, okay, you know what? Yes, while we have it, we're going to go ahead and blow through as many of these as we can. And get the studs, because, you know, free studs, who doesn't like free studs? Oh my gosh, okay. You see here, character studs would be very helpful. But, alas. Let's see. Oh, no, no, only one down. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's going to require a high jumper. We are not a high jumper. So we are going to just focus on taking out these droid commando units because these are actually the guys that are calling in the droids. Take down these, and you stop the flow of droids. Which, um... Yeah. You know, actually, last episode, I feel like I took out the droid commander peoples, and or the, the previous time I was recording this, I feel like I took out the droid commanders, and then I was like, wait, I, I wanted to play around with all the enemies now. No, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't say that. Maybe what I was like is like, um, like, uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think I was just observing that it was so peaceful without all the the constant flow of enemies. Oh, gosh. Okay, and we're dead. That was the first time we died in this section. I feel like that's a pretty good streak there. Okay. I think that is it for the battle droids. So that's that. We won't bother with those. That's too much work. But, yeah, okay, looks like that's all of the stuff that we can blow up around here, so let's just go ahead and move on. And now we're over here. A little foresty bit. Okay, blow that up, blow that up, okay. Okay, pa-pow, 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 okay. You know, with the frame rates that we can get in LEGO Star Wars, the frame rate benefit that we can get in LEGO Star Wars, um, from using the, the low CPU user preset, I really need to do some test footage of Overwatch. Because, um, ah, so actually, you guys might not know this, but I've recently gotten into Overwatch and, like, quite a bit gotten into it. I've been playing it a lot. And, uh, actually, one of the first things that I tried out when 
I got OBS was Overwatch because it's very CPU intensive. I was curious how much uh, Overwatch was going to bottleneck OBS because it turns out, um, how, I don't know how it works, but basically OBS will never take more resources than are free. So if you're playing a game that's very CPU intensive, that game is going to have first dibs on all your CPU use, uh, resources. At least that's my experience. Which is good because, you know, if it wasn't, then playability would suck, and then your footage would suck because you're not on top of your game and you're having difficulty actually playing well. But, um, unfortunately, what that means for my system, because my CPU is about 90% utilized when playing Overwatch, just with, you know, Overwatch and, you know, the background programs that I have, which actually don't introduce much CPU load on it from my observation, but basically, oh, can we not force him? We can for force, force, there we go, there we go. Basically, um, where was I, where was I, um... So yeah, Overwatch uses about 90% CPU, and, you know, that doesn't leave much for OBS, and <laughs> turns out, on nor using the normal CPU encoder, okay, recording 1080p, 60fps footage, <laughs> we, we can't even, I can't roughly describe it in terms of frames per second. I have to describe it instead in terms of seconds per frame. And when it comes to that, we're ta we're looking at about, uh, I think about 30 seconds per frame in-game. Okay, on the menu, totally different story. We were actually getting some pretty good frame rates. It was actually looked pretty good. Um, of course, it was just on the menu. But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so, basically, okay, we can't come in as Chewbacca because we're too far away from Chewbacca. See, here's the thing. Okay, the, the AI here apparently doesn't understand how to come up the mountain. But, alas, uh, this is what we had to deal with the first time we were recording. And, oh, boy. Okay. But, yeah, um, so, so what I realized after running all of my test footage f for Overwatch... Uh, okay. Uh, okay, um, so I'm actually playing using my keyboard. Okay, there we go. There we go. And so I'm not very familiar with the controls. Um, but anyway, uh, what we what we need to do... Oh, ooh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, look at us, such a pro. Okay, um, but what we, uh, what we need to try is see if, now that I know about the low CPU usage preset, see if we can actually get half decent frame rates, okay? I'm not gonna say good, because that's ridiculous, okay? Right now, OBS, with LEGO Star Wars running, it's consuming about 37%, 35, around 30 some odd, 30, 35 to 40% CPU usage, it looks like. That's quite a bit, okay? When playing Overwatch, we do not have that much to spare <laughs> at all, so... I don't expect it'll make much of a difference. Well, okay. I don't expect it will make enough of a difference to make it viewable. Like, to make it mildly acceptable to, you know, record and release footage recorded with OBS using, you know, on-the-fly encoding on my current computer. I just don't think that is reasonable, and we are getting wrecked by this guy. Okay, we need to get closer. There we go. Yeah, you're dead. That's what I thought. Um, but yeah, I am curious to see how that affects it. But yeah, that's a bit of a tangent, I guess. Um, oh, that was cool. We deflected two bolts, and they both went directly back to the shooter. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, if I did say so myself. Look at that mini kit up there. We definitely need a high jumper to get up. Well, hmm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we need a high jumper to get up there. Um, oh, you can literally see them spawning in. They spawn, like, right here. Right, okay, right just outside of where I can go. <laughs> because apparently the clone troopers have more access to these woods than the Jedi. Not sure what that's saying. I, I really have no idea what, what that's saying, if it's saying anything. I feel like that's not even saying anything. But, yeah. 
Jedi are people too. Except when they're aliens. But then they're still, you know, sentient beings. <laughs> That's kind of actually a theme in Overwatch. It's like, you have the, the humans, the omnics. Essentially, the singularity happened, and stuff went south, and um, then the the singularity kind of unhappened. The the sentient um, the sentient what's the word robots essentially that that you know happened. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, the robots stopped being like competitive against the humans, or like, hostile towards the humans. Or rather, the hostile ones were eradicated, and the ones that remained were cool with the humans. So, yeah, in case you didn't know, that's kind of Overwatch's story in a nutshell. <laughs> and, yeah, of course, you know, you can just just go look up some stuff if you you want to know more oh look, yeah we got a mini kit that's cool anyway um yeah so like the video if you liked it leave me a comment if you have something to say um share it with your peeps and of course subscribe <laughs>